What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my next gen career mode. This is episode number 57 and we start today's episode off by confirmation that Gnabry is going to be out for three weeks after the injury picked up in that game against Hoffenheim and also we got 106 grand for winning that game against Hoffenheim and going through to the next round and then we saw that Maya has uh, completed his loan spell at Wolfsburg and is now coming back to the team so of course I talked about Maya at the start of the season apparently he's a glitch player thank you to everyone that commented and told me that and said that uh, in order to fix it you need to send him out on loan so that's what we've done and uh, excuse my phone there that's what we've done and um, yeah it looks like he is going to start growing again so as you'll see in this squad report as we're now into November he's actually gone up a rating so hopefully hopefully we're now going to see Maximilian Meyer get some uh, attribute increases that's that's good I'm really pleased with that you know I was really worried we'd brought a player who'll never increase and he'll stay at 73 uh, for his entire career but as you can see there although it didn't have a plus one next to his name he has now gone up to a 74 at the start of the season he was a 73 and uh, you take a look at the squad and uh, Lasaga well 89 overall I mean I know there were some people that questioned the decision to bring Lasaga back but I'm sorry I think it's proved to be a really good decision Lasaga's back now an 89 overall player and as you can see we are now a five star team which is fantastic we finally now made the leap to the five star team really pleased with that and that means surely now we can start competing for the Champions League and the Bundesliga in the same season really just start to start to develop and really start to progress as a club I mean we've progressed incredibly already but now we've made the leap to one of the big clubs you know now uh, when a team will get drawn against us in the Champions League uh, you know into, into group stages or if you made it through the group stages and knockout stages now a team will get drawn with us and they'll want to avoid us in the in the draw you know they won't say oh I, hope, I really hope we get heard of Berlin because that'll be an easy game for us home and away no that now they'll be fear enough so anyway uh, we take on Frankfurt for uh, the first game of today's episode and as you can see we're sitting in third place in the Bundesliga as we take on the side who we beat uh, in the German Cup final on our way to our first piece of silverware in the series and the first chance this game would fall in the 28th minute as Ginter collects the ball and plays a crossfield ball towards the former Frankfurt defender Sebastian Young he then plays it back from right to left towards Goretzka. He lets it run to Royce. Royce beats his man, goes through the centre, then plays it out wide towards his former Dortmund teammate Schmelzer. Nice little ball roll to beat his man, keeps on running, he's got space, he shoots, but it's a great save by Trapp at his near post and keeps it at nil nil. So very good save by the goalkeeper. And uh, from that, Frankfurt tried to break, they gave the ball away. Schmelzer found Volland, collects the ball, crosses the ball in. Lasaga goes with a bicycle kick, great save by Trapp. But thankfully for us, the new 89 rated striker is up quickly, heads the ball past the goalkeeper and makes it 1-0 so 31 minutes in we are in front in this game and uh, it's not as nice as what the bicycle kick would have been but even so a goal is a goal and the Saga gets it and in the 45th minute on the stroke of half time great chance to make it 2-0 Goretzka rolls the ball forward towards Sydney Sam who stops it then a scoop turn then a good strike great save by Trapp and then he claws the ball off the line but unfortunately for the Frankfurt goalkeeper he can't deny the third shot as the Saga puts it into the empty net so Trapp was playing really well in this game and uh, to be conceding two goals for half time was quite harsh on him because that was an incredible double save really was the way he clawed the ball off the line to the nine marker Royce was brilliant but uh, even so Lasaga follows him puts it into the empty net and it is Frankfurt nil heard of Berlin too so we're in control in this game in the first half and in the second half we almost made it 3-0 directly from the kickoff really as in the 51st minute uh, Sydney Sam gets uh, played four but as he goes to shoot I thought he could have got a penalty there because when he went to shoot he chips it up and the defenders seemed to take him down but the referee didn't see it that way and his trap collects it he kicks the ball forward uh, Frankfurt go on the break here really good chance the ball gets played through to Rosenthal one-on-one -on -one, but it's a good save by Ter Stegen and it is still 2-0 but Frankfurt would keep the pressure on here from the corner and as uh, Flume, the number 18, takes it, he swings it out towards the head of Zambrano who wins the header but it goes narrowly wide of the post so what a great chance for Frankfurt to get themselves back in the game but thankfully it went just wide but they were growing in confidence and there's uh, Rode collects the ball here, a transfer target of mine, he goes down left hand side, takes on William Carvalho, didn't want to lunge in but I should have done because he crosses the ball in, Flume wins the header and makes it 2-1 so Frankfurt back in the game, they were growing in confidence so it was to be expected but uh, in the 67th minute as Volland makes a great challenge on Bamber Anderson here it goes to Lasaga who takes aim for a mile out but unfortunately Trap is equal to it and he puts it behind for a corner but from the corner it's crossed in towards the head of uh, Lasaga Lasaga goes for it falls to Badge Duber instead but what a bad miss that is I put way too much power on the ball and it went harmlessly over the bar and out for a goal kick and from that I decided to make some substitutions uh, Wagner, Yashil and Reinhardt all came on for William Carvalho Roy 
choice and the saga that's because we had a Champions League game in midweek and I wanted to rest the first team players that I would like to play of course the big beast was saga Royce as well and uh, William Carvalho is a great holder mid so your shield came on as did Wagner and Reinhardt uh, onto the pitch here and directly from that uh, Frankfurt had the goal kick of course and Trapp would eventually stand over it and launch it forward with his right boot no he doesn't he plays it short to Zambrano what I'm talking about Zambrano launched it forward there you go Goretzka intercepts so it comes to Wagner had back heels it to Goretzka he beats his man a really good chance for Goretzka who uh, shoots but it's a good save by Trapp and unfortunately Zambrano clears the ball away so still 2-1 but to be honest after Frankfurt got the goal back uh, to get themselves back in the game they didn't really threaten so it was kind of weird that but uh, even so in the 79th minute Sydney Sam goes on a brilliant run fantastic uh, from the pace merchant tries to get around Trapp unfortunately uh, it's saved but it falls to Yashiel off the bench and he manages to get the ball into the back of the net so Yashiel off the bench makes it 3-1 and that would surely put the game beyond reasonable doubt now I got very lucky there because I messed up the finish with Sam as it came to Yashiel the finesse shot was quite poor as well but thankfully it took a deflection and that's what took it past Trapp so 3-1 it's probably going in anyway but uh, still 3-1 and in the 83rd minute Frankfurt tried to get themselves back in the game again Flume crosses the ball into Road. Road strikes it but he can only put the ball wide and out for a goal kick and one of the last chances would fall here in the 89th minute as Reinhardt gets on the ball, finds Wagner, two subs link up, it comes to Sydney Sam, Sam then plays it back towards Wagner, the big 6 foot 4 striker out muscles the man, nice little ball roll then takes aim, good save by Trapp but it falls to Yashiel and Yashiel doubles his goal tally coming off the bench and makes it 4-1, so all the, uh, the goal was made by Wagner really but Yashiel just had to finish it off, so Frankfurt 1, heard of Berlin 4 and that was how the game would finish, another 3 points, another win for us, that's now, was it 4 wins I think it is. Very good run run at the moment anyway. And um, yeah, two for your shield, two for the Saga, and uh, one goal for Flume. And it's just awesome. This this side, I did say at the start of the season, you know, with the signings we made in Royce and the Saga, this side was going to score a lot more goals this year. You know, we wouldn't have any problems scoring the goals. Conceding, yes, maybe a few at the back. We might have a few uh, sticky situations where we concede a few more goals than we'd like to, but certainly getting the goals, that is not, not a problem at all for us, really. But uh, anyway, Herman's not happy as he's not getting into the team, and Ginter says he he wants a new contract which is really frustrating because Ginter's still got like three years left on his deal and he's not it's not like he's getting paid like five grand a week he's getting a decent salary but unfortunately he wants a new contract and I guess we'll have to offer it to him eventually because of course he is our captain and we don't want to see him get upset and uh, want to leave but uh, even so we take on Marseille uh, for the second and final game of today's episode at the Velodrome away from home in France and uh, of course Marseille they're a decent side no doubt about it but they are currently sitting in third in our group halfway through we lead the group with three wins from three games. What a fantastic start it's been for us. And uh, Marseille, well, if they want to qualify, they really do need to win this game, to be honest. And we have most of the first 11 out there, but a few absentees. But the first chance to game would fall in the eighth minute here as the ball gets played over the top. Ginter loses out on the header and it comes to JJ. He plays it forward and eventually the cross is made towards the far post and it's Ayu at the far post. I think it's Jordan Ayu who gets the header and makes it 1-0 to Marseille. So unfortunately, uh, no, it's Andre Ayu. Damn it, got the wrong one. Uh, uh, it's Marseille who get the goal and unfortunately for us we are behind very early on but in the 11th minute we try to respond Roy swings in a corner and Lasaga heads it in so the big beast Lasaga gets the goal from the corner Roy delivered it and it is Marseille 1 heard of Berlin once we're not behind for long and uh, very pleased to be back on level terms here and the following chance would fall in the 21st minute as Yashiel gets on the ball for us really good chance he plays a fantastic through ball over the top towards Herman he strikes it on the half volley but Mandanda makes a really good save and Marseille end up getting the ball away there so still Still one apiece. But in the 28th minute, Marseille go down the left-hand side. It's uh, Ayu who goes down the left-hand side again. He's already got one goal. This time, can he provide the assist for a goal? And he does. He picks out, uh, is it Cardrenas? Not sure how you pronounce that name. He gets the goal. He scored in the first game against us anyway. And makes it Marseille to her to Berlin 1. So both goals coming from Marseille through those crosses to the header. We just couldn't uh, contain him. And it's 2-1 here. But in the 38th minute, Schultz gets on the ball and finds Lasaga. He offloads it quickly to Marco Royce. Royce takes on his man down the left-hand side. Takes same, but it's another fantastic save by Mandanda, and it's put behind for a corner. So still 2 1, but from the corner, Royce picks out Lasaga, uh, tries to pick out Lasaga. This time it comes to Ginter, and Ginter heads it in. So 2 2, and all four goals in these 40 minutes have came through headers. Absolutely crazy. Just shows how OP they are on this game, but uh, still 2 apiece. And in the second half here, in the 50th minute, uh, Cardenas goes down to the centre here. Really good chance for the Marseille man. He scored in the first game and in the second game, but as I give the ball away with Zeeler, it comes to IU. IU 
Ryu finds the number 7 and he drills it in. So this guy has now scored 3 goals against me in 2 games. Crazy. And it is Marseille 3, Herder Berlin 2. So we're behind in this game. We look like we we're on course for our first European defeat this year. But in the 71st minute, uh, Reinhardt gets on the ball. Great chance here as he's looking for a runner. Picks out Herman. Fantastic chance, but I messed up the finish. Put it miles wide and it goes out for a goal kick. And that's how the game would finish. So we lose. It's our first loss in the Champions League. A massive defeat. Even a point would have been a good result for us here. But still, it is a loss. It's a real shame. And that really does really open the group now. Had we won that game, we sure, surely would have been qualified. But now, this, this defeat opens up the group completely. And uh, now we're going to be uh, a little bit nervous and looking over our shoulders. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. And I'll see you for the next episode of my next-gen career mode very soon.